Chickenpox, also known as varicella, is a highly contagious infection caused by the varicella zoster virus. Chickenpox leads to frustrating, itching, and flu-like symptoms, and most people recover within one to two weeks. But in the meantime, I'm going to show you the best treatments around for managing its symptoms and helping you get back into shape for you or the little ones. So stay tuned until the end. Let's start off with some background information. If you've never had chicken pox before and someone in your household gets it, it's very likely that you'll get it too. You could actually catch chicken pox at any time of the year. Springtime happens to be the most common time that you do catch it. Children under 10 years old are mostly affected, but you could still catch it also at any age. And once you've had chicken pox, you're very unlikely to catch it again. However, the varicella zoster virus that causes chicken pox will stay dormant in your body for the rest of your life. And at any time later in life, the virus could be reactivated causing shingles but that's for another video i'll get to so subscribe not to miss out on all these other health topic videos i've coming out for you guys but when it comes to prevention the best way to actually prevent chicken pox is to get the chicken pox vaccine everyone including children adolescents and adults should get two doses of the chicken pox vaccine if they've never had chicken pox or were never vaccinated. It's proven to be very safe and effective at preventing the disease. Interesting to note, since the varicella vaccination program began in the US, there has been over a 90% decrease in chickenpox cases, hospitalizations, and deaths, which are all great things. When it comes to symptoms, there's usually blister-like rash, which first appears on the face and then spreads throughout the body as small, red, and itchy spots. Blisters will then develop on top of the spots and usually get crusty and then heal within 10 days or so. But during the whole cycle, new waves of spots can appear too, which can be very frustrating for you or your child. Other signs and symptoms could be fever, tiredness, loss of appetite, headache, and nausea. Keep in mind that although it's not life-threatening to you or your child, there are complications you should be aware of, especially knowing at what point to actually contact your doctor for medical attention. When it comes to treatment, treatment involves managing symptoms until your body fights off the infection. It generally resolves within a week or two without treatment, and the first thing you want to do let's say your child gets it is have them stay at home and limit their exposure to others chicken pox is most infectious from two days before the spots appear till until they have crusted over usually five days after the first spots have appeared is where you're actually the most contagious the second thing you want to do is actually help the itching these are the following things that you could do to help the itching have them soak inside a colloidal oatmeal bath you can get colloidal oatmeal at your local pharmacy add the oatmeal under the faucet while the tub is filling with lukewarm water. Make sure it's not hot water though. The colloidal oats can moisturize skin as well as act as an emollient to improve dry skin symptoms. They also have high levels of starch to work to soothe and protect the skin. Secondly, trying a baking soda bath. To do this, add one cup of baking soda to a shallow lukewarm bath and let you or your child soak in it for about 15 to 20 minutes. Thirdly, after the bath, apply some calamine lotion, Vaseline, or other fragrance-free anti-itch lotions. Calamine lotion contains skin-soothing properties like zinc oxide, which has helped others. Lastly, if none of these help, ask your doctor if over-the-counter antihistamines such as Benadryl is okay to take for the itching. Fourthly, if you or your child has any pain or fever, use non-aspirin medications such as acetaminophen. You want to avoid aspirin and NSAIDs like ibuprofen if you have chicken pox. Aspirin in children has been shown to cause rage syndrome seriously affecting the liver and the brain and ibuprofen has been shown to cause a serious skin reaction if chicken pox is occurring at the same time so stick with children's Tylenol for now and regular Tylenol for yourself but consult their doctor to see if any of these options are okay fifthly prevent the scratching to do this you can have you or your child wear mittens or soft socks over the hands because scratching the spots can expose you to infection I recommend also trimming you or your child's fingernails so less damage can be done this is especially Especially useful in that any attempt at scratching during sleep, having shorter fingernails ends up not cutting the skin, which prevents the germs from getting inside. Also on the same topic, when you are going to bed, make sure to wear looser clothing that is not so restrictive on your skin. You want to let your skin breathe and not be so confined. So besides for the treatments we have to help ease off the symptoms, it's best to know when to actually get medical help. So I've left a useful link from the CDC on when to seek medical help for chicken pox. So definitely check that out below. I hope that you give this video a like and subscribe to stay on board with my channel if you found this video useful please share it and comment down below what has helped you or someone you know who has had chicken pox have you ever had chicken pox yourself what was your experience like let's get in touch in the comments below and until then i hope that you do subscribe and as always see you on the next one